Um, a large piece of an ancient ship has crashed nearby. <laughs> oh, God. We just dealt with this not too long ago. Why again? We're not even completely... Oh, recovered from our injuries. Look, we're still in bed. We're still getting recovered. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Falcon Rimworld Alpha 8. Let's get the game going on over here. Um... We ended the last episode saying that I would deal with this, uh, rampaging muffalo. Um, <laughs> this episode, because obviously, I needed to save Scum a little bit because this guy is absolutely too much of a threat for us, so, you know, I'm not sure if Ned's gonna be able to make it back in time, so I might have to save Scum to kind of save us over here because this muffalo's rampage, the psychotic rampage, is just way too much for us to deal with. You know, who does, he, who does this guy think we are? We're not equipped to deal with, you know, crazy muffalo here, so Ness, you better make it back home as soon as possible because, you know, this muffalo might be an issue for you, my friend. I'm sorry. Why is he running so slow, though? Ness, that is. Are you, like, hurt, my man? What happened to you? Oh, your your right foot has been destroyed. Oh, yeah, that would probably slow you down quite a bit. Uh, do we have an extra bionic leg for you? I hope we do. Um, That's actually, now that I think about it, kind of scary. <laughs> I was over here making fun of this muffalo, but you know what? With Ness's um, destroyed right leg, that might, or his right foot anyway, that could be an issue. Um, a large piece of an ancient ship has crashed nearby. <laughs> oh, God, we just dealt with this not too long ago. Why again? We're not even completely... Oh, recovered from our injuries. Look, we're still in bed. We're still getting recovered. Those, those, you know, those guys are the ones who caused all that shit last time. Oh, good God almighty. Okay, well, you know, there it is. So that's gonna happen. Shit, man, I'm not even properly... The thing is that we're not even, like, um... I say properly equipped, but... I just wanna get everybody, like, up and running. I wanna, like, now operate on Ness because his foot's destroyed over here, too. But that's gonna take him out for too long, so... I don't think that's even worth it at this point. We have to just kinda get ready for this fight. So let me go into the security. We'll do another turret over here for now. Our mortars are up and running, that's for sure, so... You know, do I trust my people to actually get rid of it, though? Uh, or actually land the shots? Probably not too much. But, we're gonna give it a try anyway, so... Let's see. I like how that muffle is just roaming around that, um, ship part. It's like, hey, how you guys doing? Yeah? <laughs> Be sure to give them one for my kind. These pieces of shit have been living in this colony for so long and they keep... Basically wiping out the whole, the whole Muffalo population. It's about time somebody came in and dealt with them. I'm pretty sure that Muffalo called that ship part for help. I'm pretty sure that's how it went down. Okay, so... Let's see here. Job, you're hurt too. How is your... You have a bionic eye, you have a bruise from the Muffalo, but otherwise you're okay. Ness is, um, you know, fucked up leg and everything. At this point, guys, I can't really heal you or do any operations because we have to get ready for this fight. Your right ear's been shot off, so all I can really say is just, um, you know, rest until you're fully healed, and then any operations will be taken care of next time around. Because the longer we wait, the more the psychic presence is going to, you know, cause us to lose our shit over here. Mole, how's your health looking like? Old gunshot. Do you need any... No, you're not injured. That's just old injuries. Well, I mean, you're injured, but it's just old injuries you can't really rest off anymore. So, I'm just going to get these people up and running to their, you know, properly healthy. And then we basically make an assault towards this, um, ship part over here. I'm not sure how to go about it either. I was considering just kind of, like, building a wall around it. And then... <laughs> just launching mortars on it and see how that works out. It'd be cheesy as hell, but, you know, it, it might just work. I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure how it would work, but... You know what? Should we try that? You know what? I'm always up for experimentation. Why the fuck not? Let's go over here and try this out. So let's do sandstone blocks all around. Not not the conduit kind. But let's do sandstone block. Like, oh. Oh, no, I can't do it because it's on the marshland. Okay. Well, hey. <laughs> I tried. I... I tried to cheese it a little bit. And you know what? I don't feel bad about admitting that. Uh, can you, you know, seal it in? I wonder. I wonder. Like, I'm sure they would probably break out. But I'm considering is that they start launching, like, their little flamethrowers in there. They'll probably just start catching each other on fire. And next thing you know, they're just kind of, like, killing each other from friendly fire. I don't know. It's an interesting experiment there. 
Alrighty, so everybody seems to be up and running pretty well. So I think it's about time that we consider, you know, launching this assault. Maybe next morning? Yeah, let's just wait it out for right now. We will go and have a good night's rest and a good meal. And then next morning we fight the ship part over here. Now, what I'm wondering is, is there any... There's a slave trader in the area. There's some medicine here. You know, I would probably imagine that we're going to need some medicine after this fight. So even though you're not the best talker, let me just, you know, use this guy. To buy this off. There's, you know, we could buy another Dooms... Actually, no. We could use our Doomsday Rocket, though. That's something to consider. And that's about it, huh? Alright, so let's just buy those medkits. We're gonna need them anyway. And the Doomsday Rocket is right here. We could use it. We definitely can. Who to use it with, though? That, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not too sure about that one. So, yeah, you guys go get your rest. Who would it be... Let me see. Mr. Top Hat Cat. You know what, you have the MP grenades, that's actually going to be kind of important for this, because we're going to rely on a lot of stunning again. Although they start adapting to the stunning afterwards, but... Um... You might... Yeah, we're going to hold Mr. Top Hat Cat with those grenades for now. So, a few of you guys are going to need weapons, though, because there were a few knockouts last time. But, McGee, you also require the M24. So, let's get you ready, M24. Haney, you... Our melee, definitely. So, because you're melee, let me just see how this works. I want to see what the range on this um, Doomsday rocket launcher is. So, let me... That's... Huh. So, you can launch it anywhere in here. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Um. <laughs> okay, I just want to see how that works. Let me give you the Gladius, though. Alrighty. Next person in line is going to be, you're equipped, you're equipped. Backseat so you don't fight. You have Enfield. You're fine. Yeah, so it seems like everybody's ready to go for it. A Blackguard is missing melee. Um, no, let's have you do M16 for now. Okay, and then, but McGee, you got the M24 coming in. Now, there's still a minigun on the field, and I could equip that minigun on a good shooter. So, you're 11, Calvin. You're 11, 11, anybody over an 11 would it qualify? Oh, S'mores, 14. Alrighty, S'mores, I'm going to give you, you don't have any power armor. You have an armor vest, though. Alright, S'mores, you are going to come over here. And you need to take this minigun. So, the minigun, I'm pretty sure, has pretty amazing range as well. Valdrick and Mr. Top Hat Cat are having a mental break. That's probably because, you know, that psychic ship is over here exerting its will on people. Now, if let me recruit you, and your range is, you know, it's not great, but it's actually pretty decent for uh, a weapon like the minigun. So, alrighty. Uh, nobody go to work right now. We just need to get some meals in. And rest in. Scorpio, where are you going? Yeah, you're not going to do that. So, as soon as you guys are done sleeping and eating, it is time to go, which I think is about to be now. So, everybody get your meals in. Valdrick and Mr. Top Hat Cat need to wake up. And as soon as they're rested, we recruit. And we get the show on the road. Now, Babels, can I trust you with this incendiary launcher? No, but I'm going to trust you with the mortar up here. Okay, next we need a few more melee individuals, I would say. So, Mr. Top Hat Cat, I need you. Tassus, you are going to use this one. And then finally, Haney. Haney, are you having a mental break too? You are. God damn it. I'm going to have you use the EMP mortar, if you don't mind. Alrighty, guys. So, they're equipped. Mental break imminent, Haney. Oh fuck me. It's because of this thing though, right? No, psychic drone level low. Haney's just going shit, batshit crazy over some other stuff here. Um, psychic drone very low, very tired and urgently hungry. Oh fuck, alrighty. Haney, you're gonna have to go and do some other stuff soon. Mental break soon, Scorpio PL. Alrighty, dog. We can't take on the ship with people going, you know, crazy right now, so let's give it another day, I suppose. 
Because, uh, you know, the, the, the thing with the mechs is they take a while, so if I have my people equipped for quite a while, it's going to definitely take longer than I would like. So, right now, just everybody sleep and eat. Mental break soon by Crazy Sam. That should be under control by the end, or by morning, hopefully. Okay. So, everybody wake up, get your meals in, and this is definitely it. What do we have here? Trade ship is passing nearby to a slave trader. Yeah, I suppose before we get involved with this, we might as well have Ness take a look over here. Ness, if you don't mind, what do these guys have? More medicine? Yeah, we'll buy it. And frag grenades, that's about it, huh? Okay. So, everybody ready to go? Crazy Sam, wake your ass up. He's awake. Alrighty. Everybody recruit. Meet up over here. <laughs> this is like lining up for a debt. Alrighty, so, let's do this one more time. Where is, um, Beibos? You take over this one. Next person in line. It's gonna be... Tasses. You take over the other one. And finally, we're gonna have... Hanny. You take over the EMP one. And do I want somebody shooting the fire ones? Not particularly, but... Considering... Um, considering, you know, Bax is going to be doing nothing anyway because he doesn't fight, I might as well have him equip that. Alrighty, so, you guys are good. Alrighty, and here we go. So, Crazy Sam, same old routine, you come over here. Let's put this in real time. Scorpio, you come over here. Now, the problem is that I do have to pop this open by attacking it, don't I? So, meanwhile, you guys start shooting at this contraption while I set my people up. Okay. Back's the same thing. Have you come over here. So you guys shoot at that while I set my people up here. Jumptastic. Melee, let's have you set up over here. Same old routine. If we have a chance to do something with you, we will. You come over here. Now come over here. And up. Oh, there they come. How many are we looking at this time? Oh, fuck. It's like the same amount. If not more. Okay. Fred, up here. Valdric, over here. S'mores, minigun, over here. D Rocks, over here. Um, EMP, inside here, if you don't mind. M24, 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 Leon Field. Leon Field. Leon Field. Okay, Scythers are coming in first, obviously. We already brought one of them down. The Scythers aren't even an issue anymore, thankfully. I mean, as deadly as they are, you could bring them down quite easily. It's just the mechanoids with their, like, you know, 75,000 HP that just makes the whole equation so difficult here. Let's get you closer. Let's get you closer. You, like, over here. And you over here. Okay. Ah, oh, that mortar just barely missed. It was the fire one, too. So, there's still one more Scyther up and running, actually, over here. But then there's, um, at least, like, how many of these Scythers are there? Let's find out. Two still alive? No. It looks like there's two over here, but I can't be too sure about that. Mechanoids, we're looking at seven centipedes. Okay. Alrighty. Come on, let's get the Scyther out of the way first and foremost. That scares me a lot. Please, Scyther, just bring your ass down. I can't believe we're missing him that much. All right, there we go. So, Scythers are down. There's At least these guys are over here hanging out. Just having a good time by themselves. So, it gives us a little bit of a chance to do something. Now, Haney, you need to start thinking about stunning these guys. And then everybody shoot, preferably over here. Okay, and then same with you, Baxis. Let's leave these guys over here alone. As long as they don't aggro on me, we should be okay for now. Alrighty. And luckily, you guys are kind of commandeering some of these shots over here. So, thank thank you for that, I suppose. Now we just wait it out. Thankfully, they are missing quite a bit, just trying to get some shots in on us. Is that a fire weapon? What do you have on? You have the heavy charge blaster. That's actually kind of fucking terrifying. I'm going to go inside if you don't mind now. Yeah, go, go fuck yourself. <laughs> heavy charge blaster. Who does this guy fucking think he is? Alright, here comes our next assault. We stunned two of them. 
Oh, he brought one of them down, too. Who are you aiming at? I'm not sure who you're aiming at, but it's fine. Oh, you're aiming at the mortar. Yeah, go for it, dog. You know, if we could actually keep that mortar up and running, like, do the Jubtastic thing again, they could kind of help us out. Like, you know, as long as we keep it up and running, they'll keep aiming at it. Where's Jub at? Jub, 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 Jub. Jubtastic's right here, as a matter of fact. Alright, Jub. Let's have you come around. Alrighty. So here comes another mortar shot. We missed it. No surprise there. None whatsoever. That's two down. Two definitely down. Jub? Let's have you post up behind this, um... Slave trader. Behind this, um... Sandbag over here. Alright, here comes another one of these, um... Centipedes at us. He's shooting at the mortar, missing continu- or the turret missing continuously. Mental break soon. That's what's gonna worry me, too. The fact that we need to do enough damage to bring that shit down soon enough before our people start going nuts. Alright, come on, M24. Keep doing your thing. Here's another launch. Alrighty, we landed a hit. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. <gasps> they're fleeing! They're, they're fleeing? I, I think they're fleeing. It, it says they're fleeing. Are you fleeing? Doesn't seem like they're fucking fleeing. It's like they're standing there. Oh, dude, we... That's three of them out? Four of them out. Right? One, two, yeah, I think. There's only three left. Okay, so this guy's still around over here, injured. How's his health looking like? Cracked? Weakened? Okay. Um, how do we deal with the guys over there, though? That's my big concern. So you guys can still hit this guy. At least some of you can. Not all of you. Let's start moving some of you guys a bit closer if we can here. And same over here. This could... Okay, here they come now. Fleeing my ass, they're fleeing. Fuck that shit. They're not fleeing for shit. Alright, you guys can you can come back now. Come back. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Okay. This is actually kind of fucking terrifying. Okay. Now, what I don't like is the fact that we're all kind of bunched up, too. And this is my fault for thinking that they weren't going to react the way they did. So we need to, like, kind of move you guys around here a little bit. Okay. Um, three centipedes and two scythers, is that what we're looking at here? Kev Burns, move over here if you don't mind. Blackguard, move over here. You come over on this side. My phone is fucking ringing off the hook too right now too, so it's kind of really fucking annoying. Oh god, just stop. You know, if the phone, if I don't pick up the phone after like, you know, fucking 70 rings, just stop calling. Maybe I'm busy. Is it that much of an emergency here? Okay, um, Scythers are all down. There's only three centipedes left. We might pull this through. Okay, one second. Let me check what this phone's all about. It's kind of annoying me. Let me pause this for a second. Alrighty, uh, apologies about that. Let me unpause the game here. Um, not really an emergency again. No reason to fucking ring like 70 times, but yeah. Either way, <laughs> you guys don't, I don't want to bore you with that, what that call was all about. We're still doing pretty good, though. Um, nobody's died, right? I don't think nobody's died, and we've taken out all the centipedes. Oh, we've taken out... All but two left. There's only two left now. Um, I almost want to get closer again, but we saw what happened last time when I, tr I tried to sound. This guy is injured. It says broken, fleeing, and panic, but they're not really fleeing, are they? Can we... Oh, we can actually hit attacks on this guy, too. Alrighty, so here's what we do. You guys come over here and start aiming on this thing. And same with you. Like, the faster we get this guy out of the way, that means that we can just come over here and just wreck the ship part. And then, you know, relax the mental breaks, but that's, because that's what's causing it, essentially, here. Let's see here. Drone level is still pretty low, thankfully. Now, we do have a few people getting some shots here, regardless of which. Let's move you guys. Oh, mental break imminent. Fuck. We need to get rid of this guy fast. Alright, yeah, let him come forward a little bit. I, I hope it doesn't really cost us much, but we need to get rid of this dude already. Because I can't, you know, take care of that tra um, that little ship part carefully without, you know, being aware that this guy's going to be your attack is in the backside. He's just moving around. There's another mortar that just missed. Okay. Just keep shooting him. You know, for a guy that's fleeing in panic, he's not really doing much of that now, is he? Fuck. Alright, you know what? Let's just move back now. 
At least we got him to get a little bit closer, which is more than enough. Son of Sono is like about to die too. That's the reason why I keep moving this group back because Son of Sono is looking pretty bad for wear here. He's knocked out, thankfully. Okay. Shit, man. Everybody unmilitarized. And then you guys unmilitarized as well. Mental break imminent, Mr. Top Hat Cad. Where's he at? Oh, he's in here. You guys, um, free run off as well. Okay. Hey, you know what? I don't think, you know, all things considering, that went relatively fucking well. Scorpio's trying to put out a fire, but instead he catches fire himself doing it. <laughs> Centipede, let's go ahead over here and do shutdown. And then another shutdown over here. And then shutdown on this guy as well. Oh shit, remove um protrusion, yeah. Yeah, do that. Oh, you could only do it, oh, you could only do it if they're alive. Or if it wasn't shot off. No, it's only if they're alive, apparently. Oh, sweet! We just got a, um... A knife protrusion from this guy, because he's still, like, knocked out. Excellent. So we got out underway. We need to take care of this thing now, too. Um, for that, let's wait till our people stop catching fire. Come on, guys, really? Mr. Top Hat Cat, are you, are you shitting me right now? You guys can't take care of that fire by yourselves, no? <laughs> you guys are acting like this is like the Chicago Fire or something. It's not the Chicago Fire. That was a really big... Terrible event of human history. This is like one tree on fire. You guys can't stop it. Thank God. Jesus. Alrighty. Mental breaks need to be under control before we could go after that ship part over there. And there is a dude passing nearby. I could really care less about him. I really wish the game would just... Oh, shit, Jub. My bad. You're so militarized. <laughs> run off, Jub. You're, you're free to run off, too. Oh, son of Sono. You, became, you came so close to dead, my man. Holy shit. Like, every single time, I was I kept my eyes on him because he was part of that little big group that would just come in there and just get, um, blasted by these centipedes. Alrighty. So, we did set these guys up for... Excuse me? Oh. Well, I removed the protrusion already, but now let's shut him down. This guy... Shut him down. Okay. So, as soon as that's taken care of, we're gonna just go in there and blow up the ship now. Alrighty. So that's been taken care of here. Who is my, um, d -Rox? You could give me a hand with this, and... Valdrick. Valdrick's got the LMG over here. Valdrick, come over here and just kind of shoot this thing like crazy, if you don't mind. Yeah, that should go down soon. So you do that. You guys over here just work along. And we might as well get all these centipedes hauled in. And taken care of here. And we got two more miniguns, too, for our trouble, so hey, and the upside, we are getting some better weapons just by taking care of raids by ourselves here. Centipedes have been moved in. Valdrick should be exploding that really, really soon. There's nothing else that you could do with this, right? Nothing that I'm missing out on here? Just by blowing it up? No, we got the Persona Core as well. A bit of steel and a bit of, um, silver. But more importantly, we don't have to buy the Persona Core now. We just have one because we took care of this shit. Valdrick, you're free to run off, my man. Thank you for your hard work. Alrighty, that went pretty well, man. I am loving our defense. It's not the best one. Their injuries do happen. But um, I feel better than actually just kind of like parading the entire area with sandbags and turrets. So that is the upside to it. It makes it more fun for me just kind of like maneuvering people around whenever I can. Oh, man. Alrighty. How are we looking here? How's our, how's our base coming along? A lot of food. You know, steel's actually up to 3,000 now, so we've been doing a lot of mining from that. A bunch of food, good meals, we actually have medicines, we have bionic parts over here. Oh man, it's looking so good. There's so many people idle too. Jesus, must be nice. Alrighty, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna call an episode here today. I am going to actually stop recording for today. I've recorded probably like eight episodes right now, so my throat's a little bit hurting, and I do have to go do some stuff in a bit. So I'm gonna actually stop recording. I'm gonna go through the people that we got these last few recordings. I'm going to rename them for the next set of recordings and then I'm going to start looking into what else we can start working around the colony for because for ev just about everything we're here set up I feel really secure about our colony in terms of defense. We have a lot of power. We have a lot of good stuff but at this point we're going to probably start doing some superficial things so hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh, it's been a pretty fun few episodes I would say. I'll catch you next time.